Ladies and gentlemen, we are live here at Legends of the Ring in Monroe, New Jersey. RC and the... The bad boy, Barry Hardy. Yeah, boy, it's crazy here, isn't it? Oh, my God. Electricity, all these superstars here. What more can you say, man? This is the place to be. Guys, we have some great interviews now, and you're about to be... Completely damaged. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Completely Damage. I am with Tugboat. Tugboat, thank you for your time. It's a pleasure being here, brother. Now, what inspired you to become a professional wrestler? Uh, I grew up on wrestling in South Florida, um, on uh, Florida Championship Wrestling, Dusty Rhodes, the Funks, the Briscoe Brothers, Andre the Giant, all the greats came through there. I loved it. I wrestled amateur in high school. I took and uh, played all kinds of sports and everything. When I started powerlifting in high school, I was also uh, went in, into college and throwing shot and discus and I wound up meeting pro wrestlers They used to train the gym I trained at in, uh, when they were in town either at Miami Beach or they were down the Coconut Grove uh, wrestling down there and you know you come in hey the kangaroos used to come in all the time and uh, you know talk to you brother you're big strong you know you ever thought about this and I thought it and thought and thought and finally you know I said yeah maybe I try it and uh, got hooked up with uh, Boris Malenko's school, and he was coming down on the weekends from Tampa and training in Fort Lauderdale. I used to go up there and train, and then I finally moved up north and trained for over a year up there with Dean and uh, Jody Malenko, the two boys, son, and a bunch of other guys that were there, one, two, three kid. Also got trained there. Uh, we used to train in the back of an old mattress factory in, in Tampa, you know, and uh, that's how I broke my first territory. I went out to uh, uh, San Antonio, Texas. I started there with Texas All-Star. Uh, and um, what were your thoughts on uh, being in a WWF? It's, it was great. Best, best time of my life. Great guys. Uh, been to over 45 different countries. Uh, wrestled every small town and uh, state in the United States. And uh, met a lot of great, exciting people. Uh, a lot of good kids. You know, it was wonderful, man. It was a lot of time on the road. We were wrestling anywhere from 250 to 300 days a, a year. You know, I mean, you get injuries, you roll with it, you go to the gym, you eat, and you're flying. It's planes, trains, and automobiles, brother. Yep. Now, um, you were a singles competitor and also in a tag team uh, with the Natural Disasters, with Earthquake. Um, what are some memories you had from both those times? Oh, man, it's just great. I wrestled so many great generals in the ring, DiBiase. I mean, I've worked with uh, Jake and all these different guys. Hulk Hogan is my tag team partner, and him uh, touching you is like, you know, uh, just phenomenal. I mean, it was, you know, make your career back in the day, you know, and with Quake, man, he's the, not only was he a great tag team partner, he's my, my best friend. You know, I miss him very, very much. You know, uh, we had a lot of great times. We were so much alike on the road. We had fun together. You know, we we're like two young kids. I remember uh, we were up in um, New England wrestling one afternoon. We had a double shot, Boston Garden, and, and we, had, we were up in New England in the morning. And uh, it's the town where Stephen King's from. Wow. And here we are, it was uh, wintertime, snow up to our butts. And uh, so after we wrestled, he used to come to the matches every once in a while, Stephen King. And I'm big, we're big fans. And we went to find out where his house was. We were there, and, we're, uh, and the house is a big barn red, old Victorian house. And we're over there, and uh, at the gate, I can imagine the neighbors looking out and seeing two big mooses like me and Quake outside on the snow. And then we see the uh, uh, Suburban in the driveway, and here comes Stephen King out there. And here comes Quake running down the sidewalk, Mr. King, Mr. King, Mr. King. So he had a book he wanted to get autographed, you know, and Stephen King came up. He was cool. We had a great time. You know, it was nice. You know, it's stuff like that, little memories and that. I mean, we got, we got snowed in in Reno one time uh, for about three days. And there was no hotels, we, I mean, no rooms. We got stuck in a honeymoon suite, me, him, a guy, uh, you know, and a guy named Black Bart and a couple other wrestlers, and it was, it was just good times, good times. Now, everyone wants to know, what are you up to today? 
Uh, I uh, actually I, te I teach a lot of industrial classes, OSHA and uh, uh, mine safety and uh, first aid and CPR work for work in conjunction with a safety consulting company. Um, I spend a lot of time with my children. They're 14, 16, and 18. And uh, I'm divorced now and just having a good time and, you know, and uh, enjoying getting back into some of this stuff here, getting back with the fans and everything. And, you know, just enjoying myself, to be honest with you. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you for coming here. I hope you guys have a good time. This is Anthony, and we're at Legends of the Ring, and you're watching Completely Damaged. Tim, give us an update on Cards Subject to Change. Cards Subject to Change, the new wrestling documentary, it's incredible. Comes out July 12th on DVD. It's going to be on Netflix and Amazon, and uh, you're going to be able to get it on uh, PlayStation and Xbox. It's insane. I don't even know how to get movies like that, but you're going to be able to get it. And uh, you can pre order it now on Amazon. And uh, July 12th, the DVD comes out. There's 40 minutes of extras, deleted scenes, and outtakes, and a whole bunch of good stuff. So uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be intense. Now that it's finally done. Thank, thank you. Now that it's finally done. Hey, Siobhan Eric, she's in the movie. All right, there. <laughs> nice, nice. Now that it's finally done, all that hard work, yes. uh, thinking back now, what are your thoughts? Um, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work, but I'm really proud of it. And I'm really glad that um, it's being distributed by Cinema Libre Studios, who just put out uh, a film by Oliver Stone, and like they put out really big documentaries. Um, so I'm really happy I got the reception, yeah. you know, that it got, and uh, you know, we just hopefully people like it. That that's you know more. I don't care money, whatever. I want people to like it, you know, and just get get a lot out of it and learn something. And you know, what more can you ask for after that? Definitely. Well, we'll definitely watch it and promote it. www.cardsubjecttochange.com. Check it out and get that DVD, guys, in July. This is Ron Farouk Simmons, and you're watching Completely Damaged. Wow, get a mate. Yay! Oh, Bushwhacker buddy. Luke, thank you for being on Completely Damaged. Oh, it's great to be here, mate. It's bloody great, and you look a lovely mate. Oh, thank you, you thank you. You smell like a bucket of sardines. Anyway, uh, what inspired you to become a professional wrestler? What inspired me, mate? Well, I got sick of chasing the sheep around New Zealand. You know those woolly girls? You know, you back them up to a cliff, and you, uh, that's the end of that story. Anyhow, oh. I got, then I decided to stop wrestling these woolly girls, come over to this side of the world, put my wrestling boots on, start marching around the ring, and facing some humans for a change. Because I got sick of those woolly girls. Uh, now, you were part of a great tag team, the Bushwhackers. What is ah, I was with the sheep herders, mate. The uh, great tag team, the sheep herders. Uh, That's what we went around. We went around and kicked the shit out of you Americans. Uh, How about that? Oh, man. Now, what were some of your favorite moments of being in a tag team? Uh, ba some of my favorite moments were being arenas sold out. That's what, because it meant more money, mate. <laughs> sure, very yeah, true. yeah. But uh, some of the great tag teams we worked against, the Brain Busters, the Fabulous Ones, the Fantastics. There's a, I'm going back in time. Now Dick Murdoch and Manny Fernandez, the Briscoes, the Funks, many, many tag teams over my career, mate, for many decades. Definitely. Now, what is your thoughts on the business today? My thoughts are great. Hey, they all look great in the ring. Great bodies, great athletes. But the, today, the business hasn't got it like it was in yesteryear. The feuds are not there. The characters are not there. You know what I mean? When I was around, we had huh, Coco Beware. We had Randy Savage. We had the Demolition. We had the Honky Tonk Man. Hey, uh, we had a uh, one man gang, uh, King Kong Bundy. The Bushwhackers. Oh, yeah, we you whacked a lot of bush, mate. Yeah, bushes, forget, mate. No, yeah, whacked yeah. a lot of bush. Remember, I'm from down under. You know what kind of bush we whacked down under? Whoa! Oh. Yeah. yeah! Well, mate, that's all I got to say for you today, and it's great to be on your show. See ya, folks. Yay!